yogis, I'm Camille and welcome back to Camille Yoga, Aerial Yoga channel and all the magic in the air. Today we're going to learn a very fun trick which is called ankle hang and let's go through this tutorial in which we learn not only that ankle hang entry but also some of the things what we can do so all the variations uh, into the handstand, uh, back bends and of course core workouts so it's it's very fun and cool thing to do uh, just a reminder uh, please do before our warm-up before entering into the poses just that you won't overstretch over strain some muscles or ligaments you can check the warm-ups or short of my uh, videos classes of mine over my head in the link uh, if you already warmed up let's check first of all how all that thing looks uh, in a flow Okay, so now let's learn step by step everything from the beginning. So first of all, just stand in front of your narrow loop silk and put one of the legs into the silk. It doesn't matter which one, both of them will be in. The hands over your head and pull yourself up. Okay, so now let, uh, bring the other leg also into the silk and let's say but let's together do, I will mirror you, so I will do the opposite leg. Uh, let's take the left leg in front through the silk and wrap from outside into the back and back inside. Then taking the right leg to the front, don't mix it, don't go behind, to the front, to the side and behind wrapping around. So both legs now wrapped around the ankles, but not yet fully. Now this is the tricky part from the ankle hang to enter. So we now, it looks like we are squatting down, but actually we're just squatting a bit to pull our legs up to the chest. So rather than going all the way down, so you just hang, it's impossible to do anything with the legs uh, as a silk will lock itself. So to release the silk, you actually need to hold yourself with the arms by your shoulders firmly and then just a little bit bending your knees as a, as a spring to jump and spreading your legs as wide as it okay it doesn't have to be very wide it can be as this but pull your legs up and in front of you as if you are sitting on something this is just very short momentum as you as you soon as you go up you instantly will lean back and start to slide but at first just notice that you won't do this so don't collapse your hands next to your shoulders locked together glued together and you actually just bringing your legs in front of you and as wide as you can pushing through your feet the silk to the sides so let's try together so a little bit bending but then jumping catching yourself and spreading the silk as wide as you can now Lean back, stay, uh, extend your arms and slide through. Now you will see that my feet creating an X shape through the silk. So that means that the silk uh, sides that we're holding, we're sliding and letting it go not from outside but through inside of the feet so that it would hooked into it, the balls, the toe, the big toe of the foot would lean into the silk and then releasing down and that's your ankle hang. But let's come back by grabbing the loop unless you're still holding a silk. So now draw the knees together and forward and pull yourself up and let's stand up and wrap your legs for a bit 
and shake your hands out to release the tension from your forearms and palms. So one more thing that I wanted to say, uh, ankle hang can be a little bit stressful, not as comfortable for your ankles as the silk will squeeze it since you are holding the whole weight uh, from that ankle area. So if you feel that, that it squeezes too much, then either put the longer socks or pull your leggings lower. Uh, in case you can get stuck in it, what to do is just when, just uh, let's say I'm entering now fastly into the pose here. Okay, and I got stuck, I don't know what to do. Then you just turn one of the foot, making it point rather than flex point and it would unravel. Then coming out of your arms up and the same do with the other leg. So always remember to unlock the foot, just turn your feet point and a little bit to the side so the silk one will unwrap itself. Or if we want to come back into the standing position without unlocking the silk, let's see I'm here and I want to come back, then I walk my legs up from the core, grab the loop that is hanging, grab the sides over my feet, bring your knees together to the front into the kneeling position and then standing up and you're coming back where you started. So two ways how you can come out of the position, very important that you go on, won't get stuck before coming to the other things that we will soon do. So don't forget either if you're all the way down, uh, just turn your feet point or come back by pulling yourself up and knees together. Two of those things. So when you are comfortable with this wrapping around, let's continue uh, from the, for the adding up more positions and exercise. What can we do from the ankle hand? Uh, some of them, of course, there are way more possibilities always to add more things, but let's go through, through a few of them. So one more time, let's meet together in a loop, standing on it from the beginning. Take your time. And now let's wrap around. So through the front to the side and from behind one leg, front side from behind the other leg. Then a little bit bending your knees that you can jump up. So holding firmly from your arm muscle power. And remember as if it would be seated wide angle, right? So legs wide as you can, pushing the silk to the side. Lean back, slide down, creating that X through your foot, through your ankle, through the loop, through the legs, lower yourself down and you're entering here. Now from here on, let's do the pull-ups. So the hands over your head, just a little bit relaxed to feel that hanging position. Perhaps you might be lower, Perhaps your whole back will be on the ground. It depends how wide your legs were open. So if your open was narrow, then of course you will lower yourself down because there's more still. So now the pull up. So exhaling, lifting yourself up, inhaling back, crunching, exhaling up, inhaling down. So a few more. And the last one. Good, so you should feel your core. Now let's turn on our belly. So it doesn't matter which side. If your hands like this, just turn on one shoulder and from the other palm, press away from the floor. We're coming into this arched back um, locker pose. So in here or on the elbows if it's too much. And here you can hold this pose longer. Eventually when you get comfortable into the ankle hang, and from here, we can also add um, uh, strengthening exercises, preparations for the handstands or scorpion pose. So let's release, I will release left leg. So again, I'm making point and then it, making point, I mean, <laughs> not with my words, but with the leg uh, and then unravel. So now, hands over the, uh, hands under the shoulder, stack on and knee towards the chest the leg inside the silk extended inhaling and lifting your pelvis up catching in the momentum into the straight line exhaling lower yourself down inhaling up exhaling down or adding up perhaps 
extending the leg all the way or behind into more like split position or scorpion and then neutralizing the back bend into the split so putting it uh, leg down all the way either on tiptoes if the silk is higher or perhaps the hamstrings a little bit tight it's okay whichever it is just lower the leg down and nose towards the knee if you want more you can press away from the floor by drawing your belly your chest towards your thigh and holding the pose in here and then we're softly unraveling the other leg just point your toes and coming here and then you have to do the same thing on the other side so let's do it together but this time a little bit flowy so not stopping as much but of course eventually just work yourself out perhaps today you only learning the entry to the ankle hang which is fine so perhaps you're just working on this um, despite the other poses as you need to kind of work yourself that the body get adjusted to that feeling of pressure on the ankles at first it might be a little bit uncomfortable but eventually as all the poses uh, like hip hang right so the body eventually readjust with that feeling of pressure okay so now i will be facing away from you but you could see more details from the other angle from the other perspective so let's stand on the narrow loop together and it doesn't matter which leg uh, going two forwards around to the back and in the same leg uh, the other leg the same also leveling up and remember hold yourself firmly while pulling yourself with the legs up and into the wide angle seated position and then sliding down into the x x shape through your ankle so let's do it by opening widely leaning back creating the x shape through your ankles right here and then through the loop going all the way down to the ankle hanging position and from here on you can do those uh, crunches lifting up through your core and then eventually and rolling through into the lockers or the back bend or on your elbows if it's too much just by reducing the weight but uh, head is lifted so engaging the upper back okay so if we already done that let's continue with the handstand so now the other leg will unwrap previously we unwrapped the left leg so now let's unwrap the right leg unless you did the opposite before so I'm unwrapping the opposite leg and my knee towards the chest and lifting the pelvis up into the balancing axis, finding that line and exhaling down, inhaling up, catching myself, looking at between the thumbs. Just a few more. And perhaps extending the leg all the way up or behind into the more split leg or back bend into the Scorpio and then releasing down the leg into the standing split so either on your tiptoes or with the heel down and drawing your upper, bo upper body towards your lower leg or pressing away from the floor to deepen the stretch through your hamstrings and then eventually pointing out the top leg to unwrap from it and coming up so this was the ankle hang tutorial the entry of it and plus those other positions and exercises that you can do to build your strength and flexibility if you have any questions with this kind of tricky entry please comment down below i will answer all your questions or if you have ever requests for the tricks or the classes topics also just pop it down in the comments other than that all the information you will find as always in description 
so like subscribe and if you like it share it with your friend or with the other aerial enthusiasts and uh, see you soon guys bye